The vision at Savannah State University is to build and sustain an inclusive campus community that values and respects all members of the university community. The mission of Savannah State University is to provide university-wide leadership in developing and implementing initiatives that promote access to and diversity within our students, faculty, and staff communities. I have to say, actually, Savannah State University is one of the one of the the first, actually, one of the best um, historically black colleges and universities that have the highest diversity rates. I would like to say, going to different HBCUs um, and meeting different queens, and we talk about it how. Um, how you know different different races basically are involved around campus. I believe that Savannah State does a really great job in promoting diversity and not just saying okay because you're a historically black colleges, then we're only concentrating on historically black black history and things like that. Um, and also looking at our faculty and staff, it's so diverse. So like if we already know, if I know that okay, the person who's teaching me is from Africa or the person who's teaching me is from India, so therefore they can actually talk to other students and they can influence other students to come to, to the university. So our race of um, administration and faculty of our diversity is so diverse. They're really, really diverse. And, and that's one of the reasons that I really fell in love with the university because of the diversity that we have on our campus. Hi, I'm Heidi Binhammer. Um, I teach voice at Savannah State University. I uh, actually started off as being a performer. I went to school and my teachers wanted me to do education, but I did not want to do education. I took some time off and then I got my master's degree in vocal performance at Georgia Southern a few years ago. And right as I was graduating, they hired me to teach at Georgia Southern. And then I got hired at Armstrong to teach, but they were only part-time jobs. And I got a call from Professor Spicer here at Savannah State. Uh, she had heard me sing in the American Traditions competition and she asked if I'd be interested in teaching here full time. And uh, I lived pretty much two miles away from Savannah State for probably uh, nine years and never even knew it existed. And uh, I was like, well, sure, I'd love to. So that's how I started actually teaching. I, uh, having taught at Georgia Southern and at Armstrong um, without very diverse populations at all. I mean, the majority of all my students were white. Um, and then coming here, it was, uh, what I noticed was, and maybe because Armstrong was a community college, but I noticed a sense of community here that I never noticed at Georgia Southern or at Armstrong. And I both enjoyed, I enjoyed teaching there very much, but what I like is the faculty is really diverse here, and I meet people from all different, you know, all around the world here. My colleagues are from everywhere, and they all are, um, just as uh, qualified in their fields as they were at Georgia Southern and Armstrong. Um, so I think that there's a misconception out there that uh, people that teach here aren't, uh, don't have the kind of education or the expertise that they would elsewhere. And um, I, I've had an excellent experience. I love teaching here. And we have students that come from all white schools. We have students that come from very uh, mixed schools. We have students that come from schools without a lot of diversity. Um, and I think it's a really good experience for uh, a lot of students because uh, the black community is so cohesive and it gives students an opportunity to see what they're really like amongst their peers. Hi, my name is Sandra Dees, Christian stuff there, and, and I'm 21. And I play tennis here at Southern State. And I came, like, I wanted to play tennis in America and go to school at the same time. So I wanted to go to a warm place. So my friend goes to SCAD and I was visiting her. And I loved Savannah and looked at the school in Savannah. And I talked to the coach here. And he, like, offered me a scholarship and stuff like that. So I decided to come here to Savannah State. Like, when I came here first, it was really like shocking like I was like oh my god what have I come myself into like because in Iceland is like probably less than one percent black people so I would think like I was probably like now when I look back I feel like I was ignorant against people like but now I feel like I've learned another culture and I'm more like receptible about like like new things and I feel like people here really like 
nice and like want to get to know you and think it's like amazing that I'm from Iceland and I really don't like feel that oh I'm by that person's flag. Okay like for me like for us it's like we see like how African Americans are in movies so we get the stereotyping so when I came here and I'm like in class with like full classroom but like so it's like different I can see like how they want to learn they're like really proud that they're in college and that they are so much different than all the stereotyping that you see in the movies and in the rap videos so like I feel like I've like learned to like appreciate more like that you don't stereotype um I get kind of like frustrated and angry because I work really hard to get my ace and when people even like here are like trash talking the school I get really angry because like why be at the school if you're not happy about being here like you should love your school so when people like outside Savannah State are talking like that they don't know how it is being here so yeah I think I think this school does a great job and I think it's improving every year like since I came here and I've been here for two years now and I feel like it's improved a lot and they're getting a lot more international students and they're trying to like do the study abroad programs and giving like opportunities to, for people here to go somewhere else too and get their degrees. Yeah okay that, that's true like everyone was like yeah you're an athlete aren't you and then they tried to get the sport and and then if like they're like oh but why did you choose this school always they always ask like why like it's really outrageous <laughs> but I don't know yeah stereotyping sometimes like mostly guys when they're like I hate when they say like oh it's no bunny or snow like that's like I feel like that's ignorant towards me so um, but otherwise I, I don't think like I can I don't I don't feel like I'm under stereotyping, but I don't know. I'll go that. My name is Madeline Jackson, and I'm 21 years old. I'm a junior, and I moved here this semester from Brunswick, Georgia. It's about an hour south of here. And I applied here in Georgia State and Georgia Southern. And my uh, originally I wanted to go to Georgia State, but I actually kind of had a bad experience with them. And whenever I came to Savannah State, everyone was really helpful and really nice. And it was really last minute, even though I'd already applied. And so um, since I'd heard their mass comm program was so good, I would much rather be in Savannah than in um, Statesboro. So I just chose to come. Savannah State, well I've noticed that during the day, like with students that don't live on campus, it's a lot more diverse, but since I do live on campus, I've noticed there's not as much diversity. I mean, I tend to stand out a lot. People are really surprised usually that I live on campus, and they first thing they always ask me is what sport do you play, and I actually don't play any sports, which really surprises people. So I would say it is diverse. It's definitely a lot more diverse as far as um, commuter students, though, from what I've experienced. I think the education is definitely equivalent to other schools. I went to College of Coastal Georgia before I transferred here in Brunswick and I got my associates in communications. And this school is definitely way more hands-on, which has been a better learning experience for me. I've definitely learned a lot. And I think that, I mean, I think it's taught me a lot too because I've always been exposed to, you know, diverse cultures. But being here and being a minority, I mean, it definitely is a learning experience for anyone only in a positive way. So I think that this school has been a very good school for me to go to and that it is definitely a growing and learning experience that has helped me prepare me for the real world. It was different and I didn't really think it would be different because I'm, you know, in Brunswick, it's, it's a pretty diverse there. So I didn't really think that it would be that different, but at first it was really different. Um, just, I mean, most of the questions I got asked or stereotypes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. 
But now, I mean, I don't even really notice as much now that I'm further into the semester and you know, I see the same people every day and everybody just pretty much treats me as everybody else now that I've been here longer. And it's not really as much of an issue me being a minority. Um, I think, I mean, it is a learning experience for anyone to be a minority, especially if you're not used to being one. But I mean, I don't think, I mean, at first it was a little hard. It was a little different, mostly just by, you know, preconceived notions people might have had about me without knowing me. First of all, everybody assumed I played sports. That would be the only reason I would be at school here is, you know, one of the biggest things. And I noticed, you know, some girls, I guess, didn't really like me at first. Just, um, not really. I don't exactly know why, but, you know, some girls are kind of iffy or some guys might, I guess, approach me maybe a little different than I'm used to. But, I mean, nothing bad, but just, you know, different notions people might have had about me or people might have been surprised that I was, you know, so comfortable in the situation. And uh, that was a big thing that people, I guess, you know, I had one guy come up to me and ask me, you know, why are you more comfortable here? Um, I was hanging out with him and some other people that I knew actually from Brunswick, where I'm from, but he wasn't from Brunswick. And he asked me, you know, why was I more comfortable than some other people that were white that he had met in this situation? And I guess it's just because I've always been exposed, you know, through my family to different diverse situations, but... I mean, that was really, I guess, the biggest thing, but I mean, I've, I've enjoyed it so far, and now it's just, I don't even really notice that I'm a minority as much, because people just kind of treat me. Um, we have our HTA president and Miss um, Amanda State, who are both from Africa. I just got a new roommate. She is um, a Caucasian male from Brunswick, Georgia. And as, since I've been a freshman here, the diversity has grown a lot, actually. We have um, Chinese females who are here, and we have a lot of different um, um, races here on Savannah State campus. I feel diversity at Savannah State has grown through my two years here. We have a lot of different ethnicities and we have a lot of different people here um, and we endorse it. Like we have this young lady from Iceland, we have people from Africa, we do um, a lot of different things like campus to endorse.